Hey, so I know I've been posting a lot of stuff that is written out, but I actually want to read something I was just listening to. So I actually pulled over to do this. I pulled over and I, cause I was so blown away by this message, pulled over, transcribed the teaching that I was listening to and it, like wrote it down. And now I'm just going to read it because I think it's just so powerful and it's so helpful. I'll also post the, the transcription, but here it is. You always get a feedback loop from the universe. You don't realize it. You will have a hateful thought or negative ideas about yourself. And then you will, for instance, have a coworker who has nasty things to say about you, but you don't put two and two together. You don't see the universe as a reflective device showing you what you are unaware of. Yet that's what it is for. The things you do not accept or love, you push outside of yourself and they appear on the screen of your life in the form of trials and tribulations, negativities. Positivities too. You get your positive beliefs reflected back to you as well. But more often than not, you are aware of those positive beliefs because you do not distance yourself from them. You deny the shadow. You push away the shadow, you repress and control the shadow, and so it must appear somewhere. What happens is it appears out in front of you in the form of people, places, and things that you do not like or you do not want because these are aspects of your own mind. This is always going on, this reflective aspect of the universe. You're always bumping into aspects of your unconscious self. So that is just a short clip of what I was listening to. And I thought that it was just spoken so well and it really explained the way things work. Uh, I thought it was just like, okay, first it starts with set, talking about the feedback loop of the, of the universe. And by the way, prior to this description that I wrote down, uh, the teaching was actually about how right now uh manifestation is happening happening quicker because that feedback loop from the universe is happening quicker like as we all feel like time is accelerating so actually uh you can use that to your abilities that's kind of what the teaching was about uh, manifestation is happening really quick right now so you really have to be aware of every moment and ask yourself is this a thought that i want to put out into the universe uh, by the way, I'm actually uploading a podcast that I did about how none of our thoughts are a secret, uh, meaning that we think like if we're saying to ourselves, oh, like I look so terrible today, I, I hate the way I look, I wish I looked like that, um, I wish I was better, blah, blah, I'm unworthy. Uh, that's actually, you're also putting that that frequency out into the collective mind of of the one mind of all of us together the combination of all since we're we're all a part of the same thing we're all separations little pieces of the same one consciousness so we're actually all connected and when we have negative thoughts we are actually not only affecting ourselves but we're affecting the entire world basically the entire universe the entire globe the global consciousness so i'm going to put a, a podcast out about that but um i just thought this was so amazing how like uh, it's just written so well or spoken spoken so well um, how you have a hateful thought about yourself and then you just happen to go to work one day and you have uh, your coworker say spew nasty things in your face about how you aren't doing well enough, blah, blah 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 and you don't put two and two together about how that actually is the same frequency and you're receiving it back um, <coughs> and then you do not see the universe as a reflective device showing you what you're unaware of, but that's what it is for. Um, that's just that's just the same type of thing like that I've been talking about that our internal world um, is reflected back to us. So everything that we're experiencing is actually our state of mind and being reflected back to us. <clears throat> and I, this is what I thought was amazing. <clears throat> I thought this was so amazing how... Um, the things you do not accept or love, you push outside of yourself and they appear on the screen of your life in the form of negative situations, 
positives too and then it speaks about how like we we are more aware of when positives are reflected back to us because we don't try to separate ourselves from it like how it was speaking about how um we try to repress the shadow so we try to you know uh push it away and our, our triggers and our our traumas we try to pretend that they don't affect us and that we're, we're going to be okay we can get through it and so they're constantly reflected back to us if we're if we don't heal um but i just thought it was so interesting because it's so true like we're we we're, we're kind of just acclimated to negativity we're like oh yeah that's n normal uh this uh i had a terrible day someone accidentally spilled something on me um i tripped and i fell and i scraped my yeah that's normal stuff but if we receive like uh if we look at our account and there's like a hundred dollars more in it than we thought there would be we're like oh my god i manifested that but that's because we're so and i'm not saying that's a bad thing but i'm saying that like we're so acclimated to negativity that um you know like we're just when something positive happens it like sticks out it feels like it just stands out and we're like oh my god like it's like a miracle but really that that is what should be normal the the miracles miracle mindedness like we should be uh experiencing more miracles than negativity but we just have to acclimate ourselves there